Hello friends, welcome to Daring Marana YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about tie rods or tie bolts, their diagram and function. So, tie rod or tie bolt, it is a long rod with bolts at both ends which hold bed plate, frames and entablature firmly together in compression. So that by transmitting the firing forces back to bed plate and long tie bolts are fitted through these three components and then tightened hydraulically. Okay. Tie rod or tie bolt is a long rod. They have bolt at both end, which hold bed plate, frames, and entablature. They will hold bed plate, frames, and entablature firmly together in compression. Okay, and to transmit firing forces back to bed plate, they transmit firing forces back to bed plate. And long tie rods they are fitted through these component components and they are tightened hydraulically. Okay, here we can see the picture of a tie bolt or tie rod. Here we can see entablature, frame, bed plate. These three are fitted together in compression, tightened and transmit the firing force back to bed plate and all. These are the functions of tie bolt or tie rod. Okay. To prevent excessive bending moments of transverse grid disc, this transverse grid disc to prevent the excessive bending moment, this tie bolt are positioned close to center of crankshaft as possible. In order to prevent the bending moment of the transverse grid disc, tie bolt are positioned close to center of crankshaft as possible. Because of this, tie bolt are so close to crankshaft. Some engines employ jack bolt to hold the crankshaft main bearing cap in position instead of the conventional studs and nut. Okay. To prevent the excessive bending moments of the transfer grid disc, tie bolt are positioned close to center of crankshaft as possible. Because of the tie bolt are so close to crankshaft, some engines employ jack bolt to hold the crankshaft main bearing cap in position instead of the conventional studs and nuts. Okay. And the purpose. The main purpose or function is they provide the fatigue strength. Okay, they will provide the fatigue strength. Also, provide proper running gear alignment which prevent fretting. They provide proper running gear alignment which prevent fretting. They help to reduce bending stress. They help to reduce bending stress and being transmitted to transverse grid. So, we have, so that's why they need to align close to center of crankshaft as possible. And tie rods transmit gas force which acts on cylinder head. They will trans transfer the gas force which acts on the cylinder head. And firing pressure force of the piston directly transmit to the main bearing. So, firing pressure that actor of the piston is directly transferred to the main bearing consequently to the engine frame through the tie rod support. So here the firing pressure that of the piston is directly transferred to the main bearing consequently to engine frame through the tie rod support. So these are the functions of the tie rods. Thank you.